When we see somebody playing the guitar, we're instantly drawn to looking at the, the fretting hand here, uh, watching the, all the, you know, the, the digits moving about and what, what, what they're actually playing. Um, one of the marvelous things about the guitar is it's an instrument that actually faces out like this. So if you go and see somebody playing a guitar, you can see everything that's going on. Well, almost, because with fingerstyle guitar, a lot of what's happening is actually happening in this hand and you can't really see a lot of what's happening. The fine detail we have with uh, dynamics and tone. It's incredible the, the, vari the, the variety and the variation we can get in, in volume and tone without actually touching a volume control or a tone control. You just, you can find a, a sweet spot on the guitar. See, that's a nice mellow sweet spot around about here. If, then I can vary the sound whether I just play with the nail or if I play with the flesh. That's a different sound again. It's a big variety of sound. And when we get into the final detail, the very fine detail of, uh, of, of playing, when you've learned a piece of music, but you then really want to give it that final polish, we get into the dynamics and the change in tone. One of the, the pieces that I've taught on here is uh, called I Won't Last a Day Without You. And in that, I, I have this, this, uh, this kind of setup. So that's a nice mellow sound. I can sharpen it up, make it harsher, move it nearer the bridge. Back to here where it's mellow again. Maybe keep the bass part mellow and have a sharper, a sharper tone with, with the other part of the chord. I can do the other way around as well. That, that's trickier to do, because you've got to get the, your thumb behind the other fingers. Then we can, dynamically, we can change it. I can play the bass louder. Keep the others where they are. Make the bass quieter. But bring the top out. Now I'll bring out the bottom and the top. I'll keep them about this level. And I'll bring out the middle. So just by doing that, we got an incredible amount of control uh, over the volume, the independent volume, uh, what, I, what I call the inner dynamics, not the overall dynamics where, where you play a piece of music and you, you go to a louder piece, you know, then you, you, you play a little louder and a little, a little quieter, um, but the internal dynamics where each note is, is treated differently. What happens then is we get this fantastic separation and um, it becomes very clear, very, very distinct. Uh, rather than if we play everything exactly the same, it can start to sound a bit kind of, a bit kind of mushy. And in the, the polyphonic style that I play in, which is um, not the same uh, as, uh, as chord melody, is where you've got lots of different lines going on. The reason I can make that sound so much bigger and it's like almost going into like, like 3D is because I know how to um, 
focus in on certain notes. So I might want to bring one note out a little more and I can make that one note louder and the other note softer. Then I want to make that note mellower. I, I can do that. So this is something to do and just to practice it. And you can practice it just on what I was playing there. Just play a D minor ninth. That the kind of thing. Bring the top out. And down. Little notes. Bass and top. Middle. J just really, really practice that because this is the very fine detail. This is what nobody can actually see. This is when you, you happens to me when I, when I play, somebody will come up to me and they say, what kind of pickup is that? Is it in stereo? Is it, what are you doing? You're playing in stereo. It's all done. Uh, with uh, with the, the right hand technique, inner dynamics and inner tone.